Hello my friends and welcome back to the You Can Do TV channel. In this video, we will learn the process of manufacturing and assembling marine engines. And in the next part of the video, we will explore the process of manufacturing giant gears for the power generation industry. Crankshafts are essential components in internal combustion engines used to convert the reciprocating motion of the pistons into rotary motion. The manufacturing process of crankshafts is crucial for ensuring their durability, strength, and performance. In this video, we will discuss the forged crankshaft manufacturing process using drop forging. Drop forging is a popular method for manufacturing high-strength, high-durability components. The process involves heating a metal billet to a high temperature and then using a hammer or press to deform the metal into the desired shape. Forging makes the metal stronger and more durable than other manufacturing processes like casting or machining. Forged crankshaft manufacturing process using drop forging involves the following steps. Billet preparation. The first step is to prepare the billet, which is a piece of metal that will be used to create the crankshaft. The billet is typically made from steel, which is a strong and durable material. The billet is heated to a high temperature, which makes it more malleable and easier to shape. Forging. The heated billet is then placed in the forging machine, and the hammer or press is used to apply pressure to the metal, shaping it into the desired form. The crankshaft is formed by using dies that are designed to create the specific shape of the crankshaft. Heat treatment. After the forging process is complete, the crankshaft is heat treated to improve its strength and durability. The heat treatment process involves heating the crankshaft to a high temperature and then cooling it rapidly. This process helps to create a tightly packed grain structure that enhances the strength and durability of the material. Machining. The final step is to machine the crankshaft to the desired dimensions and surface finish. This process involves using a lathe or milling machine to remove any excess material and to create the required shape and surface finish. Crankshaft machining is a crucial process in the production of high-performance engines, and it requires precision and accuracy. The Nakamura WT300 is a versatile machine that is well suited for this type of work. This machine has the capability to perform turning, milling, and drilling operations on a variety of materials, including hardened steel. In this part, we will discuss the process of crankshaft machining on a Nakamura WT300. The first step in the crankshaft machining process is to set up the machine. This involves installing the necessary cutting tools, setting the workpiece on the chuck, and adjusting the machine's parameters to ensure the proper speed and feed rate. The Nakamura WT300 has a built-in tool setter that helps to automate this process, which helps to reduce setup time and improve accuracy. Once the machine is set up, the next step is to begin the turning process. 
The turning operation involves removing material from the workpiece to achieve the desired shape and dimensions. The Nakamura WT300 has a powerful spindle that is capable of high-speed turning, which helps to reduce cycle times and improve productivity. The machine also has a high-precision servo-driven turret that can hold multiple cutting tools, which allows for rapid tool changes and greater flexibility in the machining process. After the turning process is complete, the next step is to perform milling operations. Milling involves using a cutting tool to remove material from the workpiece in a specific pattern or shape. The Nakamura WT300 has a live tooling system that allows for milling operations to be performed directly on the machine, without the need for a separate milling machine. This helps to reduce setup time and improve accuracy, as the workpiece does not need to be moved between machines. Finally, after the milling process is complete, the last step is to perform any necessary drilling operations. This involves creating holes in the workpiece to accommodate bearings or other components. The Nakamura WT300 has a high-speed spindle that can perform drilling operations quickly and accurately, which helps to reduce cycle times and improve productivity. Piston machining is a process that involves the creation of pistons, which are essential components in internal combustion engines. Piston machining involves the use of various machines and tools to create the precise shapes and sizes required for different engine types. At Race Tech Pistons, a high-performance piston manufacturer located in Huntington Beach, California, the machining process involves seven main operations. The first operation at Race Tech Pistons is called the Twin Spindle, which involves loading a specific forging into the CNC machine. The CNC machine is then programmed to cut and shape the forging to create the required design for the piston. The second operation is called the Lathe, where the ring grooves and gas distribution grooves are cut into the piston. The third operation at Race Tech Pistons is the pin bore machine, which is responsible for drilling the pinhole for the piston. This machine also creates lateral gas ports, split oil drain backs, and double pin oilers. The fourth operation is the side relief machine, where the pistons are trimmed to optimize weight and pin length. The skirts are also internally milled to achieve the correct thickness for the specific engine application.
The fifth operation is the five-axis dome and profile machine, which is capable of cutting dome profiles, dish profiles, valve reliefs, and vertical gas ports. The machine can turn in five different directions and can handle up to nine pistons at a time, making it highly efficient. Take a little bit of material. The sixth operation is the tank machine, which is used to cut off the registers used in the previous operations. After this, the piston is trimmed to the final skirt size. Been inspected from this point on. The last operation is the cam turn, which is where the piston receives its final bore diameter and gram weight. Each operation in the piston machining process is critical to ensuring that the piston is precisely manufactured to meet the customer's specific requirements. At Race Tech Pistons, the finished product is deburred and inspected to ensure that the weights and sizes match the customer's order. The Caterpillar Marine Engine Manufacturing Process at the Lafayette, Indiana facility, based on these steps, engine block test and machining. The engine block is first tested for any defects or imperfections. Then, the block is machined to the required specifications using advanced CNC machines and equipment. Connecting rods are precisely machined using specialized equipment to ensure that the bore diameter, roundness, and taper meet the required specifications. Plasma valve machining is a high-precision process used to create complex valve shapes and features in engine components. This process uses a combination of plasma arc and CNC machining to create intricate details and features in valves that would be difficult to achieve using traditional machining processes. Cylinder heads are precisely machined to ensure that they meet the required specifications for combustion chamber shape, valve seats, and port geometry. This process includes milling, drilling, and grinding to ensure that each cylinder head is machined to the required tolerances. Crankshaft test process. The crankshaft is also tested for any defects or imperfections. Robotic rod machining. The connecting rods are machined using advanced robotic machines to ensure precision and accuracy. The crankshaft is carefully positioned and installed into the engine block. Specialized equipment, such as an alignment gauge, is used to ensure that the crankshaft is installed in the correct position and alignment. Piston and rod installation. The pistons and connecting rods are then installed into the engine block, and the entire assembly is carefully inspected to ensure that everything is in place and functioning properly. Smart tooling. Advanced smart tooling is used throughout the manufacturing process to ensure precision and accuracy. Three thousand six hundred crankshaft installation. The three thousand six hundred crankshaft is installed into the engine block, and the entire assembly is carefully inspected to ensure that everything is in place and functioning properly. On-site testing of every engine. Each engine is then tested on-site to ensure that it meets the required performance and quality standards. This includes a range of tests, such as functional, durability, and emissions testing. Robotic paint process. 
The engine is painted using advanced robotic equipment to ensure a uniform and high-quality finish. Final inspection. The engine undergoes a final inspection to ensure that it meets all the required quality standards and specifications. Any defects or issues are addressed before the engine is shipped out. The power generation industry has a significant need for the production and replacement of gears, shafts, and gearboxes. Coal-fired power plants, in particular, have been built in large numbers within a 350-mile radius of HMC, heavy machinery components, a reputation for providing superior service. This company is known for its advanced technology manufacturing and service capabilities, along with its rapid response to breakdown emergencies. HMC specializes in the production and replacement of gears, shafts, and gearboxes for the power generation industry. The production process involves various steps such as turning, welding, stress relieving, and magnetic particle inspection. The company's production facilities are state-of-the-art, equipped with modern onboard inspection and software technology that can substantiate gear quality to 240 inches in diameter. HMC uses 21st century advanced technology, forged and cast steels that offer increased hardness and strength and improved wear resistance while remaining forgiving even when operating temperatures drop below minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. HMC's production process for gears involves turning the web plate to size, getting the ring ready for welding, welding the gear, stress relieving the gear, magnetic particle inspection, and finishing the split line and bolt holes. For shafts, the production process involves cutting, drilling, chamfering, and heat treatment. Gearbox production involves a series of steps such as disassembly, inspection, cleaning, reassembly, testing, and painting. The power generation industry depends on high-quality, long-lasting ball mill gears. These gears can be produced by companies that meet specific qualifications and standards, such as AGMA Quality 12. The production of these gears requires advanced technology and expertise in material selection, design, and quality assurance. In recent years, the cost of materials for large gears and other machine components has increased significantly, making replacement parts more expensive. However, there are companies that offer cost-saving repair solutions that carry new warranties. Refurbished gears are also available, which can provide cost savings while still offering a new gear warranty. Companies that produce and replace gears, shafts, and gearboxes play a vital role in the power generation industry. They must meet strict qualifications and standards to produce high-quality, long-lasting parts. The use of advanced technology, material selection, design, and quality assurance is essential to the production process. Additionally, these companies must provide rapid response times and offer cost-saving repair solutions to support the industry's needs. At HMC, the production process for gears involves several steps. First, the web plate is turned to size, then the ring is prepared for welding. After the gear is welded, it undergoes stress relieving to ensure its strength and durability. Magnetic particle inspection is carried out to check for any cracks or defects in the gear. Finally, the split line and bolt holes are finished to complete the gear. The production process for shafts at HMC involves cutting, drilling, chamfering, and heat treatment. Cutting is done to ensure that the shaft is the right size, while drilling and chamfering are carried out to create holes and angles in the shaft. Heat treatment is used to strengthen the shaft and make it more resistant to wear and tear.